In this video, I want to talk about sharing your FileMaker solution, your custom application, with other people on your team. This is one of the great benefits of the FileMaker platform in that it shares custom applications very easily. For example, you can access it with a desktop or laptop computer. Your coworkers can access it with their own desktops or laptops or iPhones or iPads or even Android devices. So the FileMaker platform has been around for a lot of years. And ever since I've been using it in 1990, it has always done a great job in sharing with your coworkers that collaborative team effort is one of the things that makes the platform so very powerful. So in this video, I'm going to assume that you're kind of new to the FileMaker platform or you're maybe new to sharing or collaborating with other members of your team using the FileMaker platform. So first off, most users, when experimenting with the FileMaker platform for the first time, typically have FileMaker Pro installed on a Mac or Windows computer. And they will open up a custom application, like our free CRM here, and they will play with it. And along the way, they start to see the benefit of this application. Shortly thereafter, other people want to share that application with them and take advantage of all the awesome benefits that that application gives them in terms of saving time or being more organized or just doing their job infinitely faster versus what they were doing previously, the users come to the conclusion that they need to share the application. Now with modern versions of the FileMaker platform, you have three different choices or avenues that you can choose in how you deploy or share your custom application. Claris has essentially two products whose entire job is to securely share that application out on the internet. So first off, you have FileMaker server software, which can run on a Mac, it can run on Windows, or it can run on Linux. Now, this is purely software. It's software that you can license. You can install it on your own server. If you have support from IT professionals, or if you have the technical chops to do it yourself, FileMaker server is probably where you want to go. This allows you to roll your own server, whether it's in your office, or that server can actually be up in the cloud. It depends upon your comfort level of where you want that server located and your ability to support that server. So if the power fails, do you have a plan for that? If the internet fails, is that okay? Do you have a plan for that? Now, over the last number of years, Claris has been taking FileMaker server and bundling that with a hardware solution to create what is called FileMaker Cloud. FileMaker Cloud is software as a service. Claris provides essentially the FileMaker server software and they bundle it with dedicated hardware and they install it for you. So all you have to do is essentially pay them and the whole thing magically comes alive and turns on and then you can upload your solution. It's pretty cool technology. However, there are limitations with the FileMaker cloud service. Specifically, the FileMaker cloud service does not do well when also hosting public facing websites. So if you have a FileMaker solution, say a CRM system, and you want your customers to log in with a browser to see the status of a project or maybe an order or maybe when a package was shipped, that's not going to be a good solution for FileMaker Cloud. In a situation like that, you're going to want to use FileMaker Server where you control the technical aspects of that server installation. In the event you want FileMaker Server and you don't have the technical chops yourself and you really don't have the support of an IT group, then you can always reach out to a trusted FileMaker consultant like some of the folks that work for me and they would be happy to help you with the installation process. It typically takes two to four hours to get a server set up depending upon your needs. And when we do that, typically we also deploy that server up into the cloud with Amazon AWS and that becomes an account with Amazon that you control yourself. My team basically helps you set up your own server directly with Amazon and this provides you great internet access for your FileMaker solution, great hardware redundancy, electrical power redundancy is really fantastic. So it's a great solution for those people who don't want to roll their own FileMaker server yet they want to take advantage of all the advanced features and specifically public facing websites with data that's driven from the FileMaker platform. Now, if all you need is basic FileMaker Pro, Go, or web direct access, then you have a choice of FileMaker Cloud or FileMaker Server. And once again, you need to evaluate your in-house technical capabilities and decide if you want to punt the whole thing to Claris for them to handle for you, or you want to roll your own. Once your custom application is up on FileMaker Server 
or FileMaker Cloud, it will run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and will be accessed anywhere on the internet, provided your users have the appropriate credentials. The traffic between your clients and your server will be encrypted, and your users must have a valid username and password to gain access to that custom application. Additionally, if you're using FileMaker Cloud, the folks at Claris will ensure that the backups run every 20 minutes and those backups are preserved for at least 30 days. If you set up FileMaker Server, it's important that you or your technical support professionals set up the backup schedules within the FileMaker Server so you get robust, reliable backup realistically every hour, if not more often than that. Again, if you're unfamiliar with the technical aspects, then you want to look at FileMaker Cloud or hire an outside professional who can help you with your FileMaker server installation. A couple of important notes. Back about 25 years ago, when the internet really started to become a thing, there wasn't really a great option for having data centers host your FileMaker solution. A lot of people ran the servers within their own building or organizational headquarters. That's still an option if you have IT professionals or you yourself have the technical chops to set up a server to get it configured to make sure the drives are set up and the backups are set up, etc. However, a lot of organizations, including even my own organization, have removed the local servers and have basically moved all this infrastructure up to Amazon. Amazon has data centers all around the globe, and ideally you would take advantage of a data center that's fairly close to your own location. In fact, that's an important criteria. You always want to have the servers as close as possible to your end users. Now, if you have users spread over multiple continents, then really you need to investigate server replication, which is supported with the FileMaker platform. However, that's way outside the realm of this video. For more information about server replication, send an email to support at rcconsulting.com. Lastly, I want to talk about a feature that is being removed from the FileMaker platform that may still be in the platform at the time you watch this video. And that is a very limited peer-to-peer -peer sharing capability. Back 25, 30 years ago, when the platform was brand new, the only way to share the solution was to open a copy in FileMaker Pro and then have FileMaker Pro actually do the sharing for you and the collaboration with the other users. The folks at Claris realized that that was tremendously flawed and they created a dedicated product whose entire job was to safely and securely host a FileMaker solution out on the internet or within your office network. And of course, that product became FileMaker Server. However, the peer to peer sharing in the product was left in for a very long time because people like to use it for ad hoc testing. If you're building a solution or you're out on the road somewhere and you want to quickly share a database with maybe the person sitting next to you, then peer to peer sharing was frequently a quick and dirty ad hoc way of sharing that solution without the hassle of dealing with a FileMaker server. And of course, there was no cost to this peer-to-peer -peer sharing. The problem was is that it wasn't secured from hackers. It didn't run automatic backups. There's a million reasons not to use peer-to-peer -peer sharing in a business environment. Yet, of course, like anything else in the world, people tend to abuse something that's free. And so a lot of businesses would run around and use peer-to-peer -peer sharing because it was free. And that exposed them to hackers. It also exposed them to losing data due to crashes without backups. It's just kind of a mess. So Claris has been in the process of removing the peer-to-peer -peer sharing. However, it may be in the product. It may be available. As a general rule, you should stay away from it. But I'm mentioning it here as part of what I would consider full disclosure. It's something that's in the product, and Claris says they're removing it. That's how you collaborate or share a FileMaker custom application with your coworkers, whether they're in the office or around the Internet.